Today we are going to discuss an important topic which is acute coronary syndromes. And as we know, acute coronary syndromes is one of the uh, international killers all over the world. Coronary artery disease now is prevailing and increasing in incidence and prevalence. As acute coronary syndromes is classified mainly into two major categories, ST elevation acute coronary syndromes, where we have transmural myocardial infarction, and non-ST elevation uh, acute coronary syndromes, which is non-ST elevation uh, and unstable angina. And these patients are usually uh, diagnosed first and most important by the clinical presentation, which is the typical retrosternal chest pain which radiates to the neck or to the uh, left shoulder and left arm, sometimes to the back. And in, unlike a stable coronary syndrome, this is not provoked by effort. It does not disappear spontaneously. It's usually lasting more than 20 or 30 minutes. And in this case, we should, uh, the patient should seek medical uh, attention in a uh, health uh, facility in, in the hospital or any health facility. And first, the patient should have ECG done within 10 minutes from arrival either to uh, roll in or out ischemia. And then cardiac enzymes, CKMB and high sensitive troponin should be done immediately. And then if the patients prove to be either ST elevation or non-ST elevation, uh, for ST elevation, of course, now if the, this facility is... Uh, so based on the uh, healthcare facility, if it is a hospital equipped with a cath lab, then the patient should have primary PCI or primary coronary intervention, which, uh, as we know, should be done within uh, the door to wire time should be 60 minutes or less. Formerly it was 90 minutes. And actually this is a very important intervention because it saves the myocardium and leads to a very good outcome in those patients when it is done early enough. Uh, if it is not a facility with a cath lab, then depends upon the uh, available transfer time. If the patient can be transferred and have PCI done in less than two hours, then the patient should be transferred to a cath lab ready hospital. If not, then thrombolytic therapy would be an alternative in with a door to throm uh, needle time less than uh, 30 minutes. Otherwise, as regards non-ST elevation acute coronary syndromes, based on the degree of risk, those patients should be risk classified, as we all know. Uh, if this patient is, uh, and we have multiple uh, risk scores, including risk risk score, if this patient is high-risk patients and those with uh, persistent VHS pain, serious arrhythmias, hemodynamic instability, those patients should be taken direct to the cath lab within two hours. Patients at lower degrees of risk can be handled either within 24 hours if he has uh, elevation of the cardiac biomarkers. Uh, otherwise, uh, those patients can be, if the patient becomes stable and chest pain weans off, then the patients can uh, have a non-invasive testing or imaging uh, other than angiography. If he has a critical lesion, then this patient will go again for angiography and PCI based on these lesions. Thank you very much.